Okay, so let's do the writing this reaction quotient and finding the overall K. And we've got some elementary steps here. So this problem says, understanding reactions involving normal components of air is essential for solving problems dealing with atmospheric pollution. Here's a reaction sequence involving nitrogen and oxygen, the most abundant gases in air. Nitrogen dioxide is a toxic pollutant that contributes to photochemical smog. Okay. So the elementary steps, or the two reaction steps that we see up here, have QCs themselves. Okay, so let's figure out what those QCs are of these two reactions. So we'll say, we'll call this reaction one and this one reaction two. So QC1 is going to be the concentration of NO squared. Everybody okay with that? Divided by the concentration of N2 times the concentration of O2, like that. Uh, QC2 is going to be equal to the concentration of NO2 squared. divided by the concentration of NO squared times the concentration of O2. Okay, is everybody okay with that? So let's go ahead and figure out what this overall reaction is. Do you guys remember how to do that? And remember from yesterday? What do we do? If there's something on this side of the reactant and or the reaction and that side of the reaction, what do we do? Cancel, Cancel them. I'm glad we remember. Okay. So, uh, nitrogen is that on both sides? No. Oxygen? No. What about this two NO gases? Yes. Yeah. So let's get rid of that thing. And oxygen, no, and two NO2. Right. So this would be the overall reaction. Let's add it up now. So N2 gas plus 2O2 gas goes back and forth to 2NO2 gas, like that. Okay, is everybody okay with figuring out what the overall reaction is? This K here, so we'll say KC1, KC2. This is going to be K, we're going to say, of the overall. And what is that going to equal? Do you guys remember? How are we going to figure it out? How about that? KC1 times what? KC2. Okay. That should give us that K. Okay. So let's figure out what the the Q for this reaction sequence or this reaction is down here. So overall reaction. So I'm going to say. Q overall down here. And I'm going to write on the top NO2 squared denominator times nitrogen times O2 squared. Would everybody have written that one? Wonderful. Okay, so I want to show you something. If I take QC1 and QC2 that we've gotten here, and I multiply those together, I should get the QC overall, okay? Because that would be the same, similar thing as doing this, okay? So if I don't get that, then something has gone wrong, okay? So let's do that. So. And on the bottom, N2 
times O2 squared. Does everybody see that? Notice it's the same as this down here. Okay, so you can figure that out either way. So that's what this one's saying. Show that the, QC, the overall QC for this reaction sequence is the same as the product of the individual QCs for the individual reactions. Okay, so is it, does that prove that to everybody? Is that okay for everybody? Wonderful. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, I'm going to have to erase some of this to do the next part. Is that all right? Has everybody got this stuff written now? Okay. So, I'm just going to say that's the QC over Okay, and we don't know if this reaction is at equilibrium or at uh, not at equilibrium because we don't have any values of the concentration units, okay? But we could figure out what the overall K would be by multiplying the two Ks together. So K overall is going to be exactly what we showed there, KC1, so 4.3 times 10 to the negative 25 times Kc2, which is 6.4 times 10 to the 9. And that's going to equal 2 sig figs, right? So I got 2.8 times 10 to the negative 15. Okay. So remember, K, Q, these are one of the few things in uh, chemistry that don't have units associated with them. Okay? Even though, if you could imagine, this would be molar squared, right? This would be molar, this would be molar squared, right? So even though you're going to have all these different kind of molarity units, you're just going to get rid of them at the end. So there's no use in trying to keep your units. So I know those of you who have had me for two semesters now have been busting your bahonkuses about keeping your units, okay? But this time you're just going to wipe them clean. Okay, so no units on this one. So don't put per molar for this one, if that makes sense. Okay? Any questions before this dies? Okay, one.